hurt, the pain, the sadness. I love the pain, I love the hurt, I love the sadness. I fell in love with all these things, all those words. Because those were the words that I was brought up on. The discipline, the caning, the beatings. You don't realise it at the time. Because as I said earlier, you don't understand it. You don't understand why it's happening. You only know that it is happening. And while it's happening, you have to deal with it the best you can. And so you accept what you are dealt with. And you become accustomed to it. And then if you're not careful, you become it. You become the hurt, the sadness, the anger, the violence. You become the negativity, the doubt. You become it. You know, you become what you're against. You've turned into what you're against, but you didn't know it. And this is what I meant by hate. When you hate something so much, you turn into what you hate. <sighs> I hated the pain. I hated the hurt. I hated the sadness. And I hated it because it was being dished out by the people who were the ones I was supposed to love or the ones that were supposed to love me and that's why I hated it because I didn't understand I didn't understand their mentality I didn't understand where they had got it from and then I realised it goes back to the slavery days where we were beaten and battered and hurt and so we started to beat and batter and hurt ourselves the same way our masters had hurt us. We called it discipline. We called it learning respect. And now as I sit here, I realize the mistakes that I made, we made as people, as black people, even white people had the beatings, the discipline, the hurt, the sadness, the pain. And the pain became our friend. The hurt, the violence, the sadness. When you grow up with that, that becomes the norm. 
And that's why you always have to ask the question, what is normal? Normal is whatever you become accustomed to, whatever you were brought up with, how you was brought up with. That is the norm. If you was brought up with a loving, caring, doting mother, then that is what you will become accustomed to. If you was brought up with a harsh discipline, discipline in parents, that beat you and caned you and lashed you, then that will become the norm, normal. Pain, that's what people don't understand. People don't understand pain. Her violence, and because it happened to you, you bestow your world onto others. Others bestow their world onto others, and so the cycle goes on. Her love, her, her, her love, pain. <sighs> love becomes pain, hurt, and sadness. Isn't it mad how we hide all those things behind the word love? And that's where a lot of people come from. We come from the word pain. And pain becomes your friend. And your friend once more. When you're beaten and you're lashed and you're hurt, you don't know where to go, who to turn to, who to talk to. You become the dark, you become the sad, you become the hurt, you become the pain. You become it all until you enjoy it all. And then, once it hurts, the hurt is not enough. And so you want it to hurt even more than it hurts now. And when it hurts more than it hurts now, <laughs> then becomes the pain <laughs> and the pain becomes your friend you don't realize it at the time you just consider it the norm the normal and so you accept it and you believe it and so you display it and you hide it and dress it and disguise it all behind the word love 
friendship. When you're brought into the world and you're raised by the harsh hand, by the disciplinarians, then you too think that that's the norm. You too believe that pain, violence, distress, disorder, is called tough love tough love is it really tough love or is it the lack of understanding the lack of empathy the lack of real love Has that been filtered down through century after century after century and now here we are? Is that why we try to fight the new norm, the non-discipline? Is that why we try to fight the new world order when really they're trying to give back to this world, to society, what they took from it. But because they have taken us, taken so much from us, because we have been blinded so much by hurt, pain, anger, sadness, unhappiness. Is that why we refuse to believe that there can be a better world? Is that why we refuse to believe that non-disciplinary, non-discipline non-hurting, non-violence, non-pain, non-anger, non-sadness is true happiness. Is that why we refuse to believe it? Because we've been beaten, lashed, tortured, violated dented for so long that we now believe it's the normal and that the normal has no need to change is that why Pain, pain, pain became my friend and my friend wanted more. Happiness was my slave. <laughs> Happiness. Happiness was the pain. The more the pain hurt, the more I enjoyed it. The more I enjoyed it, the happier I became. Pain became my friend. And my friend disguised itself as love, empathy, forgiveness, happiness. It disguised itself. I couldn't see through the disguise. We couldn't see through the disguise. We allowed ourselves 
to be tricked. And now, when everything is stripped away and laid bare, and you look deep within yourself, and look beyond, beyond what you see in the outer sphere, when you look beyond the TV, the social media, yeah, the artificial intelligence, when you look beyond Can you really see the end of the pain, the hurt, the sadness, the violence, the torture, the evil? Can you really see that coming to an end? Are we building a better future or worse future? Are we scared to admit that our past was a past really of violence, anger, hurt, deceit, lying? Is that what we're really scared of? Is that what we really, really don't want to admit? Are we afraid to tell people? Are we afraid to tell ourselves, to tell each other? that really deep down we are love lost hurtful angry confused violent society world is that really what this has all come down to. Is that really what this is all about? Are we really afraid of the truth? Or is the truth really disguise, another disguise? Hmm? Is it another disguise for us to hide behind and say the word truth when really the truth is a lie and the lie is the truth? Pain, violence. Anger, hurt, sadness, negativity, all these things we have learned to be proud of, rather than to be saddened by, rather than to be dispelled by her you know, the truth of the matter is pain is what has been pushing us and drove us where we all are today but how 
out of the pain. If used wisely, correctly and properly, out of the pain comes the good, the happiness, the playfulness, the enlightenedness, the smile. <laughs> Ask yourself what is the norm? What is your norm? And the pain you have to remember pain becomes in all different shapes, sizes and forms. Mental pain, that is pain that just affects the mind, and physical pain. But when you, but no matter which way you look at it, either way, it's pain. Pain, pain, pain. That's our society. We have become to love pain. And pain has become love. And love has become hurt. And hurt has become sympathy. And sympathy has become anger. And anger has become joy. That's what we've become. The normal. And now, now they're talking about the new normal. The new normal. Remember, you are only from where you came from. You are only from how you were raised. You are only from the direction that you choose to take the pain. But always remember it's the pain, the hurt, the sad, the anger that pushes you. Pushes you and pushes you and pushes you until out of the pain becomes the good. Because out the bad always comes to good. Pain. Every time you see a person who is really happy, a person who really understands themselves, a person who is striding forward and has inspiration and aspirations. Each and every single one of those people are all born out of the word pain, sadness, hurt, violence, distress. Anger, pain, 
violence, anger, hurt, distress, distress, pain, anger, hurt, violence, the pain. That's the problem with people, with the world, with society. We don't understand the pain, the pain. We pretend that the pain is happiness and happiness is the pain. When it's not, it's the pain, the hurt, the anger, the violence, the distress, pain. We need to learn that pain is unacceptable. We need to learn that anger is unacceptable. We need to learn that distress is unacceptable. We need to learn that hurt is unacceptable. We need to learn that sadness is acceptable in some occasions, but is not acceptable when dished out for no reason other than confusion, distress, disappointment, stress, unintelligence. Understand yourself. We have to understand who we are and why we are like we are and once we understand that then we can understand how to unravel ourselves and bring ourselves back out of the dark out of the pain out of the anger out of the violence out of the stress and into the light the sunshine the happiness the peace the tranquility real real love crash How's your father? Remember where you heard me first and remember where you saw me last. But most of all, remember we all came from pain. 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 Ha, 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 ha.